December 10th, 1939. Dr. C.J. Gamble, 255 Adams Street, Milton, Massachusetts. Dear Dr. Gamble, it's good to know that you are recovering. I also am stepping up and have felt much better the past week. Miss Delp was here for Thanksgiving and I am more than delighted to learn that she was able to get $250 from the California Birth Control Organization plus the 600 from the Federation. That's good. She is a go-getter and a live wire. Very tactful and charming as well. I think that my pick of her has been justified, even though she is a little higher priced than the ordinary. She has been working on the article to be written by Miriam DeFord, Mrs. Maynard Shipley. They were good enough to send me a rough draft for comments and suggestions, and the important suggestion that I made was not to include Miss Delp's actual name in the article because of the fact that her sister is married to one of the high spots in the farm security department and if the enemy started to work on her name they might make it difficult along the line. Otherwise I think the article is good. As to my sending suggestions to the Federation I think it is really unfair for me to do so. I am too far away to have the personal contact of the different reactions and it only holds up any definite project to have the pros and cons battered about which makes for more chaos and confusion. There is only one thing that I would like to be in touch with and that is the Negro Project of the South which if the execution of the details remain in Miss Rose's hands my suggestions will not be confusing because she knows the way my mind works. Miss Rose sent me a copy of your letter of December 5th and I note that you doubt it worthwhile to employ a full-time Negro physician. It seems to me from my experience where I have been in North Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, and Texas that while the colored Negroes have great respect for white doctors they can get closer to their own members and more or less lay their cards on the table which means their ignorance, superstitions, and doubts. They do not do this with the white people and if we can train the Negro doctor at the clinic he can go among them with enthusiasm and with knowledge which I believe will have far-reaching results among the colored people. His work, in my opinion, should be entirely with the Negro profession and the nurses, hospital, social workers, as well as the county's white doctors. His success will depend upon his personality and his training by us. The minister's work is also important, and also he should be trained, perhaps by the Federation, as to our ideals and the goal that we hope to reach. We do not want word to go out that we want to exterminate the Negro population and the minister is the man who can straighten out that idea if it ever occurs to any of their more rebellious members. I agree with you that Miss Rose has done a remarkable job in thinking through and planning the project but she has worked on it for some time. As soon as I knew there was the possibility of getting any money, I put her at work drafting the plan for Mr. Lackner. She is excellent at just such a job. She hangs on to details, weaves, and correlates them into the design. I shall never cease to have the utmost admiration and regard for her ability, and so far I have not seen anyone in the Federation who could take her place. I am constantly delighted at the thought that you are getting better and now we must pray for Mrs. Tim who is seriously ill at the doctor's hospital in New York. My regards to your Sarah and to yourself. Sincerely yours, Margaret Sanger.